Hello viewers, Miss Cal here coming to you with a tripod just to secure things and make life a little bit more easy viewing for everyone. Uh, new configuration. This is another X-ray machine capacitor. Uh, grab, a, grab one of those and give you the specs on that. So we're just straight into that big cap and then straight into a spark gap. And then the spark gap is um, into some magnetic black sand which I harvested from uh, one of the local beaches. Here's the specs on that uh, capacitor. Um, makes a real crackly exciting white arc uh, when it's not going through the sand. The sand really does have an affinity for this type of voltage and what I'm about to show you absolutely amazed me yesterday. I'll zoom in so you can get a good look at this nano lava tube thing that's about to form. And I can play with it and it's self-assembling. Uh, what's going on here? Here we go. Power on. What's that? Okay, see that little red lava tube? Now I can manipulate it, I can pick it up because it, 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 it has structure and it wants to stay together. Tease it out and make it grow. It'll burn the stick. However, it'll run for quite some time before cracking the glass. It took about half an hour to break this glass jar yesterday. Um, after about three or four minutes of running I was still able to touch the bottom of the glass without it being too hot so um, although it looks like a, a little nano lava tube um, it's not a crazy hot reaction now just to give you a bit of uh, appreciation of the type of voltage I've got happening I'll just lift up this uh, this one here and we'll Take it away from that and, and let it sort of arc in the air. And we'll get a feel for what kind of I can get those electrodes a little bit closer. I'll just do a pause and um, bend some wires. Just bent that wire so I can get a bit closer to the other electrode there and see how that goes. It instantly will, um, I'm pretty sure I'm close enough to have it jump across this gap here, but it's preferring to travel in the magnetite, which is behaving somewhat like, uh, like a vacuum, because um, high voltage would prefer a vacuum over jumping in the air. So, uh, yeah, curious behaviour. So let's just lift this up and see what we've got. You can see what I'm talking about. I've got a lot of potential there, and it'll prefer to make this little track. It'll even go around corners. And like I said, I can grow it a bit bigger. Uh, it seems to have, um, the more I've played with it, the more conductive paths have been created in the sand. Uh, I haven't seen any fused parts. I'll just zoom in on that again for you. Isn't that amazing? It's like, I wonder if lava tubes actually are hot because of the high voltage coming out of a volcano and travelling down the actual tube. I mean, that, that is quite possible. When uh, silicon gets hot like this, it becomes a good conductor. But the other curious thing is the self-assembling. Like, why is it self-assembling? Uh, magnetite is magnetic. But wouldn't it have a curie point where it got too hot to not want to hold together anymore and then, then it wouldn't grow? It's really, it's really got me thinking. Anyway, um, yeah, give us some comments, guys. Check this out. So yeah, this was all inspired by the uh, Martin Fleischmann uh, Memorial Project that... Uh, Bob was uh, doing a live feed and he was talking about magnetite um, being used in a, 
uh, a way to heat rocks um, and so you can see the magnetite really has an amazing magical kind of property doesn't it look at this stuff and thanks for watching don't forget to do the thumbs and shares and Woo. get some carbon in there now